A Castle Park High School parent is set to take legal action against the Sweet Sweetwater School District after her son broke his ankle at school. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. Marcella Lee is off tonight. Uh, this all happened despite the fact that students had launched a social media campaign to draw attention to poor conditions at the school. CBS 8's Shannon Handy has details and how the district is responding tonight. This is a story we've been following for months. Parents and students here tell us the campus is in need of serious repairs. And one mom says if just some of those issues had been addressed, what happened to her son could have been avoided. I feel like it was something that shouldn't have really happened. It's not the start of the school year Aisha Ali or her son had hoped for. I'm a little upset. I've sent my, you know, children to school, hoping that it's a safe place for them. Last month, a sophomore broke his ankle in two places during a PE class being held outside on the basketball court. Part of the PE warm up was to do high knees across the blacktop, and he unfortunately stepped into a pothole. Here's the pothole in question, and according to Aisha, the court, which isn't visible from our vantage point off school grounds, is riddled with them. What it looks like, honestly, it feels like a very dilapidated road piece of road that needs to have the work done. This isn't the first time we've covered a story about problems at the school. Back in May, an anonymous Instagram page popped up highlighting just how rundown Castle Park is. Pictures showed a dilapidated football field, broken windows, rusted sinks and damage to the theater. Students, parents, even staff got behind the effort, saying they've been ignored for years. Then in July, the Sweetwater Union High School District Board unanimously approved a plan to seek millions of dollars in bond money for improvements. Motion passes 5-0. But Aisha and her attorney, Hugo Ivan Salazar, say no significant changes have been made since then, including repairs to the blacktop. They're now planning to sue. The school district knew about the potholes. They knew about them and they failed to act. Aisha says her son has been in pain and his morale is low from having to miss certain activities. I reached out to the district about the incident. In a statement, a spokesperson said the Sweetwater District prioritizes the safety and security of our students. The district will continue to review our procedures to ensure the safety of all students. If the district would have done just basic maintenance on the school, my client's son would not have broken his ankle. It seems like a very easy, logical fix to say we're just going to redo the entire blacktop, which could probably take a weekend. Just want to make sure that future kids, our kids are just safe. Shannon Handy, CBS 8.